And now that we have our string going all the way down the hallway, we're gonna attach it on to the end of the inner duct. As you can see here, this is the beginning of our inner duct and we want it coming off at the top, not from the bottom. In order to um, make sure that the inner duct goes down the hallway very smoothly, uh, we're going to take the knife and we're gonna cut a little V-shape into the inner duct. So just in the event that it should hit any obstacles, hopefully it'll go around them. And uh, the idea is to get as smooth of, of a shape as possible. And that's why we're gonna take some, some of this electrical tape here and we're gonna make it really, really smooth and into a V-shape. And here's the string. Now, what we want to try to accomplish here, we want to keep a string up in the ceiling for future use. So what we're going to do, instead of cutting the string, we're going to just going to put a loop in it and tie it. one simple knot on that loop to make a place where we could attach our cable onto. And the cable will attach here and as you can see, the rest of the string will be following it right behind. And we'll tie the, uh, tie the this, uh, string onto the other loop that we made with a double knot. And just to be on the safe side, we're going to take a little uh, electrical tape and put it over that whole thing like this. Now we're all ready here. And have my assistant here, Phil, come on in. Uh, Phil, can you help me uh, feed this into the ceiling? You got it, boss. All right. Ready to go. <laughs> ready to roll. Okay, you ready, Phil? We're ready to pull now. Okay, go. Piece of cake. Beautiful. All right, now we got the inner duct out to where we want it to be. And uh, we probably have another, oh, I'd say 100, 150 feet to go. So what we're gonna do to make it easier to pull the rest of the inner duct is we'll pull all that slack out on the floor and then continue on. Mm -hmm.